Hi, I'm Lori Earle and I'm the founder and director of This Star Won't Go Out. My daughter Esther had cancer. She was diagnosed at just 12 years old with thyroid cancer that was already metastasized into her lungs. She had amazing care, um, but her disease progressed and her health became more compromised. We wanted to be at the hospital with Esther whenever she, you know, she was there, whether it was day or night. We still had to take care of our other four children and we worried about finances, but our priority was always Esther. We made it work, but it was pretty stressful. Our days were full of shared time and experiences and love, but Esther got sicker and just three weeks after her 16th birthday, she died. In honor of Esther, our star, we started This Star Won't Go Out with the goal of providing support for families with a child diagnosed with cancer. We wanted to be able to give families a chance to focus not on their bills, but on their child and treatment. Right now, I'd like to introduce you to one of our star children from this year, the family of Jane. I think there are a lot of things before this that I thought were hard and seeing what these kids go through. I think back to, you know, when we were living minute by minute, watching her struggle and just hoping to be where we are now. She knows that everything that's going on. She's very motherly. She is like an old soul. Her nurses and doctors would say what they'd expect and then they would say, oh, but it's Jane, so we don't have to worry about that. Just her handling of everything and going with the flow so much. December of 2018, um, she was a normal kid. She was going to daycare. And when I picked her up that week, my mother mentioned that her color looked a little off. On Sunday morning, she was walking through the kitchen and her legs gave out. Just watching the fall, I, I knew it, something was really wrong. And they told us she was severely anemic. And then we went into Boston and I remember the, the ER doctor saying the word leukemia and just feeling like the rugs pulled out from your feet and it's like time stands still. Treatment started immediately. Yeah. That first night she got a blood transfusion and I think she started getting chemo the next day. This is the worst thing ever and, and then you kind of gradually find your way forward from that and then it was just like another hit. Treatment is one thing but making you feel normal are almost as important to a family as the actual treatment is. The star won't go out is really there in the in that caring way. We just had all these unanticipated costs and then work Mike was planning to do that he wasn't able to do because he was in and out of the hospital. We spent a thousand dollars on parking alone. They sent us a check and Laurie sent me a, a note with it and I remember her writing that she hoped to give us space. And when you feel so trapped to have that gift of space and to have somebody else know what that's like uh, meant a lot. We're hugely grateful. When somebody whose uh, children have been diagnosed and have gone through treatment tells you that it's okay and it's gonna be all right and knows exactly what you're feeling is uh, it's comforting. It goes way beyond monetary support. It allows you to focus on the things you need to. Mostly, you know, Jane, making sure that she's okay. It makes such a huge difference for families. Her end of treatment date is April 8th, 2021 and it's in the calendar. She's back in school. I have to focus on being grateful for everything where we are and find the way forward.